right, let's start with this guy. Facebook, Twitter, the Boston Herald. Let's get down to business with Cosmo Macero of O'Neill & Associates. Hello, Cosmo. Hey, Maria. What do you want to start with? You want to start with Facebook? A lot of people are excited about the IPO, but not everybody's going to be able to buy this stock, correct? Yeah, big money. You know, they're planning to get rich out there in Silicon Valley. They were having lunch today at Facebook. They had lobster bisque and Moroccan couscous. They're ready to get rich. This is going to be a big one come springtime. That IPO will be big. The average investor may not get in right there on the ground floor. A lot of institutional investors, a lot of major investment banks. But if Google is a, a suggestion of what we may see, there's going to be a way to get in after that. And I think it's probably going to be a pretty good idea. Very interesting. From Facebook to Twitter, um, an interesting study out there that you actually found. Researchers finding 130 million tweets every day simply are not worth reading. Let's, let's coin a phrase here, Maria, okay. shall we? We'll call it Twitter litter, right? And, uh, people at uh, MIT, Georgia Institute of Technology, and Carnegie Mellon say about 35% of all tweets are basically junk and not worth reading. You know, you're better off reading the graffiti on an overpass because it's all clutter and litter, uh, and uh, it, it takes away people's time and productivity. So a lot of that stuff out on Twitter, those tweets, where I am, what I'm doing, not worth reading. Yeah, but then you're going to get through those to get to the good ones. That's my opinion. Let's talk about Agreed. the um, let's talk about the old Herald site because as we know that they've moved. Uh, you were an employee there for many years. It's going to be really interesting. Tell everybody what they're going to do there. Yeah, you know, a great transformation of the south end of Boston over the past 20 years, and even over the past 10, I spent years there. Uh, they really did a tremendous job in that corridor along Harrison Avenue. Now, this is kind of that final piece. Old One Herald Square will become uh, a multi-use complex with housing and retail, a supermarket, always a commodity in the city of Boston. Oh, sure. It's really going to be an important piece there and kind of brings full circle that neighborhood, which has had a great transformation over the past 10 to 20 years. Are you on Twitter, Cosmo? I am on All Twitter. Right. I try to limit the clutter and the litter and, you know. I tweeted today about the governor. I saw the governor over at Bond. Uh, oh. snacking on kettle chips. So I felt that that was important to share with my See, but that's, So that's not litter. That was no. truly important. That was an important tweet. The governor's snack food of choice is, I think, critical, important news <laughs> content. <laughs> All right, Cosmo. Always appreciate your, your wisdom and your insight from our Beacon Hill studio. And how can people follow you on Twitter? They can, at Cosmo Monsieur. By the way, I liked you long before Facebook. i got to tell you that right now. Oh, thanks a lot. That's because we've known each other for way too long. We've been covering... <laughs> Uh, news in this market for a long time. Thank you, Cosmo. Appreciate it.